Hello, folks. I got some breaking news for you on the Fujifilm front. Um, let's first go uh, to uh, what is currently, and then let's uh, go to the breaking news of what they're doing. This is the, uh, it's been around for years now, the EFX 500. Fujifilm teamed up with METS, of course, has been making uh, flashes for a really long time, uh, to create this beast. It actually had a few bugs coming out, and people's serious complaint, and a valid one, was that it had no radio communication capabilities whatsoever, and you had to buy multiple flashes at 450 bucks a piece for communication between multiple flashes. Well, and of course, this unit, due to Godox, has sat dead now, essentially, even though it's a wonderful speed light, sat dead for quite a long time. So Fujifilm now, and this has been breaking by Nokashida, and here's the images uh, for it, and you can see it's the Fujifilm Corporation, the sticker on the bottom, and Fujifilm is calling this unit the EFW-1, and what it is is Fujifilm, and I've been talking about these flashes for years, I said, listen closely, this uh, new flash from Fujifilm is, of course, really this one. It's an Air 10 made by Nissan. I've been telling people for years now that the Nissan, the Nissan flashes are actually incredible. They're way smaller than a Godox, a lot smaller, which is really awesome. And also, too, uh, their little radio triggers are also really awesome. I'm actually uh, buddies, or I haven't talked to them in a while, with the U.S. distributor of these units, and I already have many uh, Nissan uh, triggers and speed lights, so I can attest to how awesome they really are. There's actually a really cool benefit where you can do flash compensation on uh, these units, even though this is just the radio trigger, the actual uh, Nissan flashes, you could do flash compensation without taking your eye off of the camera. I've talked about this for years now. And it's a wonderful feature, and you can't do that with the current Fujifilm speed light, nor can you do that with any Godox speed light? As much as I love Godox speed lights and how cheap they are, so on and so forth. And so here it is. Here's the, uh, the front side, and here's the uh, sticker on the bottom. And there you can see it. They're calling it the Wireless Commander EFW1. And all that is is a rebranded Air 10S. These are both the exact same thing. This unit is made by Nissan. It actually has uh, side pluggable firmware update compatibility. You control multiple speed lights. It's a really tiny little commander. It's actually uh, made better and doesn't have the defects that the X Pro trigger has, where the battery door falls off so easy on the Godox unit. Uh, obviously, I don't know what the price is. Uh, certainly, so the only reason why everybody I recommended to buy the Godox. Uh, 685 or the 860 speed lights for Fujifilm is because they were so much cheaper than the Nissan flashes. I said, even in my Fujifilm book, I said the Nissan flashes are much better, they're better made, they're a lot, lot more compact, which is wonderful, but they're pretty damn expensive. But Fujifilm intelligently teamed up with Nissan because if and this is obviously confirmed by Nokashida, and they're basically never wrong. And these are real pictures of the unit with Fujifilm's name in the back. Since Fujifilm has teamed up with Nissan, these only control one damn speed light. And that is, well, more than one, actually, but I mean the Nissan speed light. So while only the trigger has been revealed, it is 100% undeniable that the speed light that goes with this is all the current Nissan wireless capable, which is all of them really, all the Nissan wireless capable speed lights. So we can make a 100% deduction about that because that's all these suckers control, period. So Fujifilm is teamed up with Nissan for their radio triggers and their speed lights, and I, I hope they get the cost down on them. The cost isn't bad. I mean, they're a lot more expensive than a Godox. But if you take cost aside, which most people can't do, including me, you know, I'd rather buy, a, you know, I prefer a nice cheap Godox unit. But if price were not a consideration, everybody with a brain would buy the Nissan triggers and speed lights. I've been saying that now for years because they're so compact, they're so well made. Their speed lights are almost a third the size with the same power output as like a Godox 685, for example. Really, really compact. It was very intelligent of uh, Fujifilm to team up with Nissan for this. And uh, thanks to Nokashida for, uh, for uh, leaking these pictures. And 
I've already got, I think, I've already got four Nissan Speedlights and four radio triggers. Love them to death. So, good news on Fujifilm front. Thanks for watching.